Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to a new game series. What remains of Edith Finch? I have heard very good reviews about this game, and I am one that does really like walking simulator type games. Gone Home, uh, Tacoma, uh, The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. Edith Finch. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. I, as I was saying, I guess I really do like the walking simulator type games um, where you can just walk and take your time to explore the beautifully handcrafted scenery and someone had put up a chain link fence but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it I'm also trying to uh, I'm trying out a little bit more of a soft spoken um tone in this video, in this series maybe, as opposed to just straight up whispering. Please do let me know what you think and if you like this or whispering better. Just want to try something new, you know. Anyways, what remains of Edith Finch? What is the significance of that name uh, of the game? I think... Oh, okay. We're Edith. I, I'm guessing. If this is going off of 2019, she is a 20. I don't know. I guess I'm going to say 20 years old, but was probably released a couple of years ago, so she's probably a teenager. I guess this is the family tree. Maybe. Milton. I was only 11 years old. Lewis. Um, 22 years old. Sixteen, Gus. Gregory, one year old. Gus was only thirteen years old. What is this? Eleven. Sixteen. Ten. I just like going into these games completely blind. You have no idea what to expect from them. Um, so I guess we hop some sort of fence. We're talking about a house. It's narrated by this girl. My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Milton, 1992 to 2003, when he was four, that was 1996, so I guess they found him missing, if you have information about Milton, date missing, I do not 
2003, date of birth 1994, or 1992. That doesn't make sense. I thought I just said he disappeared when he was four. It has him disappearing when he's 11. Wait. Or did it say four years ago? Anyways, I have no idea what to expect, but this game is very highly rated everywhere. It looks beautiful. The screenshots were all over the place, not in quality, but... I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Uh, in terms of looks like there's a lot of imagination and dreamland. The house, there's no way. This can't be a real house, right? Let's go look at the graphics quality. Let's make this, uh, everything's on draw distance. No way, that's a real house. This has to be imagination, right? You can't build a house like that. Orcus Island Gazette. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Okay, so nothing happened for seven years. Oops, okay, that's the zoom button. Let's see if there's any more controls. It seems like it's for seven years she hopped the fence and that can't be the real house I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral brother Lewis's. other brother Yes, it's abandoned. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The mystery. I love how the words stay on the screen until you break them. Does this way go to the house? What is that way? That looks like a car path, but this way it looks like a walking path. Let's take this road less traveled. A regular Robert Frost. Let's fuck me find that frog. doesn't have any horror elements. I thought you may be hearing thunder. That's actually coming from uh, my real life. It is storming outside. I wonder if that's going to uh, set the tone here. the missing poster of his brother. So one brother that went missing. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. So everyone went missing. Her brother went missing. Her other brother died. Sound like her mom died as well. Is she the only one? The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. 
as if they're about to say something but never do. Is she the only one left of her family? Is everyone gone? Or she's just scattered with missing posters too. Seems like it's probably a cold case. I guess the road is pretty much the same path. Oh, there's a deer up there. I like how I started whispering once I saw the deer so it wouldn't run away. I'm gonna try to get close to the deer. Hello, buddy. Interesting. We walk up towards the house. Where is this, like, Pacific Northwest sort of area? Whoa, that house. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. It's the way she was dreaming about it. Is that the way that it actually was? There's no way they built the house. Look how precarious that looks. That's insane. It's an old, an old truck. Basketball hoop. It's the way she has been dreaming about it. There's lots of frogs, that's for sure. What is this? I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me even then. Edie. Edie. She was really old. She was really old. The second one. After Odin Finch. Edie Finch. She must have been old at the time. She was six, so that's 2005. Five years before her death, telling a six-year-old that the dragon killed her husband. There's just a random dragon in the pond. Also just scattered with missing posters. Just kind of depressing. What is in this house? Why is she the only one left? As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I can see that for sure. I mean, just look at that. It's a undeniably creepy house. Any missing posters that never got resolved. Oh, it looks like some sort of slide. Like you could walk up it or slide down, maybe. I don't know exactly. This game is just a strange. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. She's 17 years old. Her mother died, gave her a key. She didn't have access to all the rooms. Perhaps now she does. Is it a mystery to be solved? Why was she reading from like a diary? the sound of the little noisemaker. That's a 
guess let's just go ahead and check the uh, front door here. Does our key unlock it? I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. It didn't. Little mail slot. Can you open it up? Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Just books and who has one of those? Um mobility stair seats to help go upstairs. I guess it's probably for that grandma Edie. Guess we'll have to find another way in. Maybe that garage over there. She's scared of this house. People just died, I guess. I love the little wind makers, or uh, noise makers, making sound in the wind. See through a little hole. The house felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. It's an old swing set up in the tree. There's a little statue of a... Uh, a guy looking out into the ocean and what is that in the water it looks like a wrecked boat or almost looks like a sea monster from out here but that's not correct it's a little tree house that gigantic old tree waste management of orca island yeah, that seems like the northwest Pacific Northwest sort of area. Hmm. Maybe we can unlock this door. Oh, or we can go in through the doggy door. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. I bet. So she's 17 now. That's an old, like station wagon, the one that looks like the uh, classic wood side paneling on it. Typical car. Would you say she hasn't been back since she was 11? 17? It's been years. Brother Lewis's funeral. 2010. She's 17. Yeah, so it's been six, seven years. Just your there's just typical garage stuff in here. Some books, some potting mix, car, like some packing, packing peanuts. Maybe they were moving a bunch of tools out here. Car, some furniture, bicycles. Looks like not much is actually interactable. Oh, here's another, there's a light switch. The power had been turned off the night we left. That makes sense. There was a bunch of unpaid bills. Oh, there is a door ajar. Leading into the house. For the first time in years. It's a calendar marked January 2010. So she's 17, current year is 2016. Yeah, no one w went back since Lewis's death. And I remembered it said Milton disappeared when she was four years old. It's a lot of strange things. Edith, Milton, Lewis, Don, Edie. Here's John. That must have been her mother. Yeah, the mother gave her the key and when she passed and she went. Perhaps Gus was the father, born around the same year. Died quite a bit earlier. Edie, one of the oldest. But 
Just to stick around for so long. Hmm. I felt like I was home. But she was scared of this house and now she feels like she's home. Must be some mixed feelings. Everything is in its 2010 state, the Northwest shift. Yeah, Pacific Northwest check, is checking out. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. So, Don, Edith, Edie, Lewis. How old was Lewis when he died again? 22. Yeah, 10, 22. Edie was an old mother. It was Don's birthday. Edith looks so happy. Oh, Edith looks so happy. In loving memory. Lewis Finch. December 27th, 1988 to November 21st, 2010. Beloved brother to Edith, son of Don, great, great grandson of Edie. Finch Family Cemetery. Oh, they own the cemetery? Interesting. Or wait, it might just be like a cemetery that's on their lot. Or maybe just specific for, for them, not like a, a normal cemetery. Lots of just dishes and pots and pan. Chinese food. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Yeah, that's fair. It's just memories. It's not a home. It's just a collection of memories. But what, what is anything but a collection of memories, right? Your friends, your family, if you didn't have memories of them, would they still exist to you? That's what keeps it afloat. Imperial Palace, Orcas Island. Deliveries, deliveries serving all of Orcas Island. No customer is too far. It's the only one that delivers. There is so many books everywhere. Why is there so many books? Northwest Chef. Probably not supposed to look too much into it, but there's definitely repeats. There's so many canneries canned fish or how after Lewis started working at the cannery we all got sick of eating salmon except our cat Molly hmm. Lewis worked at the cannery a workplace accident maybe Ooh, there's a cookbook open to a delicious sounding recipe for apple pie Six cups sliced, peeled, tart apples. Two tablespoons water. One tablespoon lemon juice. Half cup sugar. Half cup packed brown sugar. Three tablespoons all-purpose flour. One teaspoon ground cinnamon. Fourth teaspoon ground nutmeg. One eighth teaspoon ground ginger. One eighth teaspoon salt. Pastry for double crust pie, nine inches. In a saucepan, combine the apples, water, and lemon juice. Cook over medium low heat just until the apples are tender. Remove from the heat and cool. Do not drain. In a large bowl, Combine the sugars, flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and salt. Add apples and toss to coat. Place bottom pastry in pie plate. Add apple mixture. Cover with top pastry. Seal and 
flute edges, cut slits into top crust. Bake at 450 degrees for 10 minutes. Reduce heat to 350 degrees. Bake 35 to 45 minutes longer or until golden brown. Yield 6 to 8 servings. Sorry, I had to go through all of that. I love a good apple pie. There's just collections of... I don't want to say junk, but so many books. Power still shut off, but it's bright enough to see. So many cans of salmon. That's so many that they give out for free. Oh, here's that table where that picture was taken. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off killing everyone but sparing the furniture. They leave in a hurry? I mean, there's Chinese food. There's a spilt bottle of wine, a broken glass. There's Edie, the uh, grandmother's... Um, wait, when did the grandmother die? 2010 also. brother died in November because hmm. here's her wheelchair and her oxygen tank just sitting here they wouldn't just abandon that right unless it's an emergency my mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home no, they were considering putting her in a nursing home yeah, might be for the best, but very expensive. It's a bunch of fine china sitting here. It sounds like maybe they tried packing, but just got up and left for some reason. I don't know. At yeah, Public Market, that is a picture from Seattle. I know that for sure. Yeah, Pacific Northwest. It's already been confirmed, but now it's even more so. But why? Why did some chairs are knocked over? They didn't take her to a nursing home. What? Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. That's a good analogy. A smile. Too many teeth. It wasn't wrong. It was just a lot. Just the windows are open, it looks like. Or I guess they're just very, very see-through. Big house. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Oh, there's a picture of, I guess, the original house. And then it sank into the water. Rebuilt it. That's kind of cool. Bunch of yarn next to a chair. Sewing chair. Did they say they had a pet? Because I see an animal bed. Books, boxes, Don Finch, living room. Looks like the mother was packing something. Oh, this is a beautifully detailed house. I need to take more time just to look at it. This awesome giant tree stump for a coffee table. Look at all the detail. Wow, they have a full giant library with um, one of those slideable um, ladders just so you can reach everything. Beautiful chandelier. 
Lots of books, different wallpaper in every room. Yeah, this feels like a 90s sort of home. Hold on, Paco. We could go down into the basement. Let's 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 keep exploring the first floor for now. A giant like uh, musical instruments looks like one violin perhaps. One cello, viola. I'm not a uh, musical person. Just collections of books. Interesting. Barbara Finn. Oh. My friend Bigfoot. Barbara Finn. Looks like she was the director of, or maybe an actor. Ooh, a child actor in a Bigfoot movie. Interesting. There's lots of insects and other animals. Wait, who was Barbara? In the forties, she only lived to be sixteen years old. What is this? Is an old music box, I guess. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. a bit Bigfoot. So Finn was great grandpa, I guess married to Edie Edie. He built the house and they had a lot of these children. Hmm. We can move to the Entryway, the foyer of the house. You have beautiful chandeliers. So many books. Again, still set to 2010. Lots of things in packing peanuts. Some more of the missing My questions. mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. There's Milton posters everywhere. Or missing posters, a whole box of them. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Oh, but they don't tell us what happened to that last night. What happened? It seemed like a rush. There is a door that is locked shut. Whoa, it's like glued. Completely glued shut. That's really kind of ominous. Why did they have to leave that behind? Just kind of books all around it. There has to be something important back there, but is it possible to open? Bunch of mail that never went received. Shall we try going upstairs? Like we spotted before, it's one of those electric chairs to help people get up. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Sealed up the bedrooms? Why would you seal up bedrooms when Milton went missing? That was in 2003, but they stayed there for 2010. So for seven years. I'm gonna peep, peep into this room. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. 
They're buried in there. So I guess this is like a library reading room. I see a table. Lots of books scattered about. Volumes and volumes, looks like. And at, or, uh, encyclopedias on everything. Why would you seal up every room? The house goes up and up. Maybe I should check the basement. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh. The key wasn't for the basement anyways, I guess. Then what does the key unlock, then, if not the basement? Or the front door? Must be a special room somewhere. But isn't that going a little far to seal off every bedroom? I mean, that was the library anyways, right? That's not even a, a bedroom. Oh, they said Milton got lost in the house. That's what it was, right? He got lost in the house. So she sealed up all the rooms. So no one can go missing again. Because it's just too big. So many pictures. A huge, huge family legacy. Wow, this so much painstaking detail went into the decoration of this game. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Some little child actor, I guess. Using Barbara Finch. Bill. But Dennis Bigfoot. Famous little actor, but she died at 16. In the 1960s. This hallway leads to a, a little wine cooler here. Barbara, all her stars. Oh. Hades' father, Odin, built the original house. Hmm of Odin. A man with those mutton chops. Sure lives up to the name. So Odin was Edie's father. Edie and Sven probably had Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, and Walter. Molly died at 10, Barbara 16, Calvin 11, Sam 33. Walter lived a lot. Maybe she was with Kay. And they had Greg, Gus, and Don. Greg was a year old. Gus, Les, and Don. And I guess John was the mother with Sanjay. And they had Lewis, Milton, and Edith. Interesting. This must have been Barbara's room. It's a peephole, but also has 1944 to 1960 on it. You just block off her room. It has her name and lights in Hollywood. Barbara was a child star for two years until America grew out of it. Yeah, just a little child star. This room is gigantic. Wow. That also really creepy that picture of Bigfoot uh, that looks like at first that someone was hiding in there my friend Bigfoot that's the movie name so a little girl hanging with Bigfoot there's some film reels oh, what is that looks like a I guess just a drawer cabinet her room way back there's a red carpet leading up to her room that's extravagant. Oh, shows, shows some painting. Painting that door. Just to be sealed off, I guess. There 
is there's some power cord. There's a plug in the wall and it's leading up the stairs to this. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Mm. Third floor stairs are locked. Because the house seems huge from the outside. And so many random buildings that just attach and go up and up. Hmm. There's a couple, a couple different, different rooms over here. So this is for S Sven and Eddie, great grandparents, great grandparents, grandparents, parents. Now, what does their room look like? The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Oh, so she was the big painter. All those doors and stuff must have been painted by her. Portraits and painters are still an easel set up and looks like they were in the middle of doing some painting. That's probably a nice hobby for her to have in her old age. Just a big painting room. But how could she seal that off? There's so much history in that room. You don't let the grandmother visit her room anymore. Where did people sleep? Now you have Sam and Calvin's room. Calvin, 11, Sam, 33. So I guess growing up, this was, this was their room. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Wait, so... Sam... Which side was... Sam was the right side. So it was just completely blocked off. This was NASA themed. His was like wood explorer, forest themed. They did a great job. They must have had a lot of money from something. Nice cameras. But they, even when Calvin died at 11 years old, they wouldn't let them change the room? That's very strange. You to just share a room and always be reminded of his deceased brother. That's it's kind of weird to think about. Just a constant memory. Not able to get over the past. I guess Calvin likes space. Just a little him with the whole, whole space. And Gregory. Baby that lived one year. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. This was a room for that one-year-old kid, but I guess now it's just a bathroom that was sealed off. Mount Rainier National Park. I guess it didn't last too long. They probably converted it a long time after. They really didn't need it for more than a year, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not normal of her to assume that every house had sealed off doors that you can't access. That's incredibly not normal. So for all the rooms have been for, 
Sven, Eddie, Sam, Calvin, Barbara. I haven't seen Molly's. I haven't saw Gregory, which was the grandson. Or their... Yeah, grandson. This is a mystery game, but I don't know what the mystery is just yet. Whose room is this? Molly. There's Molly's. Ten years old. A little fairy princess. Let's peep in this. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Yeah, just... Looks like they had a pet rat. Everything's princess themed. They did an amazing job at all the decorations for these rooms. It's absolutely stunning. Wow, fairy tale princess. It's like. So all the rooms were. All the rooms were sealed off. 2003 Beca after after Milton went missing but all these rooms Sven, well, Sven Eddie was still being used but Sam Calvin, Barbara, Molly's those rooms were never repurposed they were kept exactly the same Except for Gregory's, but it was only a year old. Is that why the house looks like it did? Because I just keep adding on new rooms for new members of the family because they are too afraid to give up the past and the memories of the older members of the Finches. Why would you keep the room the same of a girl who was 10 years old? At some point, 50 years later, you think you would move on? Maybe you don't. I wouldn't understand. I suppose, not yet. In those rooms and tags seemed strange and, and the house on the outside it was just stacking looks like rooms just on top of each other so that as each person was born you couldn't you couldn't replace what they had put someone new in you had to keep it exactly as it was from 50 years ago is that I don't think that's normal. What happened to her father? I guess is he still around? We don't know. There's no date listed. The father's not technically a finch, I guess. What remains of Edith Finch? Everyone else is gone. Everyone in her family tree is gone. Except for her. She is what remains, I guess, of the Finches. But what remains of her? There is a very interesting looking water room here that is not blocked off. But, but before we go into it, I think we're going to stop here for now. This is just so strange. Milton went missing inside of the house, I believe is what they said. And she wanted to close it off because there's just too many rooms, too many places to go missing. That's just how she grew up, thinking it's normal to have these rooms. What if Milton 
was lost in her room and then she sealed it up and he was stuck behind the wall. I guess you would hear banging or maybe he wasn't literally lost in the house because that doesn't make a lot of sense, right? You would hear him. But just the way the house is constructed with new rooms being added and not replacing old ones, the house doesn't even seem real. Structurally unsound, that's for sure. It's, but it's presenting it as the actual house. Nothing wrong about it. Well, shouldn't say nothing wrong about it. I mean, not a dream. There's plenty of things wrong with it. She's scared of it. And there was a night where something happened in 2010 when they all had to leave. And it wasn't the funeral. She was back there on the funeral. Well, unless it wasn't after the funeral. But what happened to Edie that she died that same year? I don't know. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of some of these mysteries. It's a mystery, I guess, but I don't, I don't even know the question. I don't know what we're trying to solve. I guess it's just a story. Why? In general, why is this the way it is? I guess the question is what remains of Edith Finch? We'll find out next time, I guess. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye.